Hi, welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna share about uh, this chive, okay? A Chinese chive. Um, we have been growing this chive for many years. I think it's it's almost uh, eight to ten years, if I believe, okay? So um, we grow from the seed, which has at that time we don't have really have experience. But the, we grow from the seed, although it's, it is, I should say, it is quite successful. But when in the beginning, they just come out just like a tiny grass, okay? And uh, plenty of this tiny grass. I, I always think, where is the chive? Why is it so tiny? Just look like a grass. Luckily, you know, we didn't grow directly on the, on the soil. We grow in a, a, a small, small pot so we can uh, differentiate what is the grass or the chive. Eventually, when they are big, we move to the uh, uh, ground, okay? So this chive, we have been growing for so long. And it is one of the best uh, vegetables that you can grow in your own garden. It is a perennial. You don't have to buy chive anymore. You can have it all year long. Uh, chive is uh, selling also pretty expensive. Like uh, one bunch, one tiny bunch that costs you about 2 or $3. Um, so... If you have, as long as you have space um, with some uh, uh, sun, it will come out very nicely. In, in many years, they just keep coming back more and more and more and they keep growing babies. And as you can see, the chaff also produces its own seed. So many seeds in one flower, like hundreds of it. So you can just uh, scatter around the, the area, then they just, you know, every year, then they just keep coming up. You know more and more as long as you have a place and um uh you know as as you can see i grow chive in many in my uh, uh places in my uh, garden uh, which is very helpful uh, for for the last uh one more than one year of covid and sometimes we, we didn't go shopping at all and i'm really running out of vegetable and chaff is one of the best to save save my life because we got so much of it every day. Just chive, chive with egg, chive with with uh, anything, chive with uh, uh, chaff dumpling, chaff with meat, chaff with beef, anything you can cook with it. Anything you can think of it, I try all those recipes. Okay, so chaff will come out a whole bunch of it. The longer you grow, the more it become, and uh. And at that time, um, we planted two persimmon tree. So under the persimmon tree, it, we, we just need a square box in the, under the persimmon tree. So I said to my husband, I said, you know, because chive many, uh, you can avoid some, some animals, some bugs, you know. Sometimes they don't like the, the, the smell of the chive, okay. So I said, why don't we plant under the persimmon, okay, since the persimmon is, you know, is at the top of it, uh, there's nothing. Maybe they can also help out the persimmon. It is to my surprise, uh, once we plant it to the, uh, under the persimmon, the persimmon still growing very nicely. But the chive, it's just like one of the best places that, you know, I ever planted, you know. And it grow faster and fatter and bigger, and it, it just continue to multiply uh, in between the chive. After you 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 grow so many years, the chive continue, and that is the two places I think. Um, I'm I'm not sure why, um, but it grow very well under the persimmon, and it grow so big. Uh, um, as you can see, you know, it is the best uh, the best chive area that we planted, so. So if you have a well, I'm I'm not sure it is, uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is. But if you you have a persimmon tree, you might try to grow some chive under it. Maybe it might just turn out like mine. I'm pretty happy and it is very fat chive and very delicious. So I hope this uh, video, uh, my sharing, will help you. And uh, I'll see you soon again. Bye bye now. These are the chaff I just got it from my garden, okay, and then I wash it. So now ready to cut it and then cook, okay. 